Hello everyone, this is Arvind from MindMagix and today I welcome you all to this amazing session on how to crack MuleSoft interview in first attempt. Okay, so let us quickly have a look at the agenda for today's session. Okay, so guys, as you can see on the screen, these are the pointers that we're going to cover in this video. Okay, so we'll start with what exactly is MuleSoft and then we will discuss one important point, why at all you should learn MuleSoft. Okay, then we'll talk about the various career paths of MuleSoft. And then we will discuss the various skills that you must have as a MuleSoft professional. Okay, and then we will discuss the various certifications that you can achieve as a MuleSoft professional. Okay, and finally, we will conclude this session on a very important question, how to land a MuleSoft job. Okay, so these are the things that we're going to discuss in this video, and I hope you are clear with the agenda, pretty much simple. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so the first and foremost point, what exactly is MuleSoft? So MuleSoft is a software company which is headquartered in San Francisco in USA. Okay, and this company provides integration software for connecting applications, data, and devices. Okay, so the company started in the year 2006 and the company's AnyPoint platform of integration products is designed to integrate software as a service, on-premises software, legacy systems, and other platforms. Okay, so the highlight of MuleSoft is AnyPoint platform. Okay, so we'll discuss about AnyPoint platform in some time. Okay, and if you talk about this company, so there's another big multinational company called Salesforce. Okay, so MuleSoft has been acquired by Salesforce in the year 2018. Okay, so MuleSoft is a leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for enterprise integration platform as a service and the Magic Quadrant for full lifecycle API. Okay, so MuleSoft is leading the era of digital transformations from the front. The way we can build a microservice architecture with MuleSoft is simplified, yet highly reusable, reliable, and robust. So MuleSoft's out-of-the-box connectors and accelerators can get you going within minutes, and MuleSoft alone caters to all of the requirements that are listed above. Okay, so this was a brief introduction to what exactly is MuleSoft. So now coming back to the another important point, what is MuleSoft AnyPoint platform? The AnyPoint platform launched by MuleSoft is one of the main organization platforms for designing and creating applications, APIs, and integrated systems. So MuleSoft completes all of the tasks in Mule, which is a lightweight ESP, which is nothing but enterprise service bus, and an integration platform. It can help you complete almost all of the tasks you might want to use in integrated APIs and applications. So in simple words, AnyPoint platform allows you to perform various operations in threaded and Mule applications. So each platform supported by the MuleSoft ecosystem has different elements that can help you to use the API. Okay, so this was a quick definition of AnyPoint platform. Okay, so guys, the next point of discussion is why at all you should learn MuleSoft. Okay, so as companies these days are looking forward to elevate their digital strategies, okay, so many of these companies are now investing more resources and budget into creating innovative ways to connect with customers and better serve their needs. Okay, so MuleSoft will be a key component in that particular shift. So MuleSoft therefore offers a promising career path for enthusiastic software developers and architects looking to upskill or uplevel their development skills and unleash their full potential. Okay, so currently industry leaders or you can say the big multinational companies such as Siemens, Unilever, Splunk and other Fortune 100 companies are happy customers of MuleSoft. So as I've told you earlier that Salesforce acquired MuleSoft in the year 2018 and now since then Mule ESP is the ultimate choice for new integration needs of many different companies. Okay, so in this way, MuleSoft offers a promising career options to software developers and architects. And the best part is that it is very easy to get started with MuleSoft. Okay, so if you're a software developer or software architect, then you should definitely consider MuleSoft as one of the promising career options for the future. Okay. And another important point that I would like to highlight here is that, so the point here is 
what makes MuleSoft attractive for the industry needs. Okay, so there are three points over here. The first point is excellent connectivity. So developers can connect applications to Twitter, SAP, Oracle, Facebook, and any other platform with swift and ease. The second point is MuleSoft is lightweight. So it is possible to create lightweighted apps with Mule as it allows to eliminate all the unwanted models very easily. And the third point over here is that it is developer friendly. So developers from any software background can use its vast tool library designed to support a variety of programming languages. So these three points are more than enough for you to consider the importance of MuleSoft. Okay, now let's move ahead and discuss the career paths of MuleSoft. Okay, so initially what you can do is for the entry level roles in MuleSoft, you can start as a MuleSoft developers. So once you gain confidence in this particular role, so you can start you know, learning other skills as well, such as programming, and you can grow or you can move forward to the architect role. So the transition from the developer to the architect will only come with time and experience. Okay, so another important point in transitioning from developer to the architect roles is the certification. Okay, so we will be discussing about certifications in the later part of this video. Okay, and if you talk about the salary part, so the salary is also quite good for the MuleSoft professionals. Okay, so if you talk about the entry level salary in US for MuleSoft, so it is around 90,000 US dollars per annum. Okay, so if you gain experience as a MuleSoft professionals, so let's say five, six years of experience, then you can fetch a salary of more than $150,000 per annum in the US. Okay, so salary part is also good for MuleSoft professionals. Okay, so as I've told you, the entry level role is the developer role. Then with experience, you can switch to the integration architect. And after that, you can switch to platform architect with time and experience. Okay, so let's move ahead and talk about the skills. Okay, so guys, as you can see on the screen, these are the skills that you must possess as a MuleSoft professional. Okay, so the first point over here is you must know any one of the object-oriented programming language. So this can be either C++ or Java. So my personal suggestion is learning Java will be very useful for you in the long run. Okay, programming knowledge will be very useful if you want to make a good career in MuleSoft. Okay, so the next point over here is the data formats. So you must have knowledge of various data formats such as XML, CSV, and JSON. Okay, so you must be able to understand the formats of this data. Okay, so data can be into various forms such as unstructured, structured, and semi-structured. Okay, so these are the various types of data that is available, like the formats of the data. Okay, so you must be comfortable in handling this data in this particular format. And you must be also able to manipulate the data or you can say do multiple operations on this particular data. Okay, so the next point is integration technologies. So it is very important to understand the various integration technologies such as SOAP, REST, HTTP and JDBC. Okay, so apart from that, like apart from the object oriented programming language, it is also important to have knowledge of scripting. Okay. So what do you mean by scripting? So as a MuleSoft professional, so your daily task might involve writing a lot of scripts. Okay, so why do you write scripts? So the purpose of writing scripts is to automate the repetitive tasks. Okay, so you do not have to do, you know, manual tasks again and again. So to avoid that, what you do is you simply write a script and run the script multiple times. So that's how you automate the manual tasks. And what are the languages that you can use for scripting? So as you can see here, you can use either Python or Ruby or Groovy. Okay, so this was all about the technical knowledge. And apart from that, I have also covered a few soft skills over here, as you can see, communication skills, both written and verbal. Okay, so be it any field, it is very important to have good communication skills. Okay, so having knowledge or skills is not enough you must be also able to communicate your knowledge or skills to the respective person, or you can say your manager or your colleagues. Okay, 
So it is very important to have good communication skills. After this, you must also have problem solving skills. Okay, so this is another important point if you want to make a good career in MuleSoft. Okay, so what do you mean by problem solving skills? So solving the problems, like solving a big problem is not the, you know, the main thing in this particular point. So if you have a huge problem at hand, so what you can do is you can break the problem into smaller chunks. Okay, smaller chunks or smaller steps. Okay, so solving those small steps will eventually lead to solving the bigger problem. Okay, so you must have that kind of attitude or you can say that particular skill of solving the problems. Okay, and last but not the least, you must be flexible enough to work in teams. Okay, so it is very important for you to be a team player. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so normally you will be working in teams. Okay, so for one particular project, there will be a particular team. So you'll be a member of that team and all of the members will contribute in the success of that particular project. Okay, so it is very important to have the skill like the ability to work in teams or you should be a very good team player. So now let's move ahead and talk about the certifications. Okay, so guys, as you can see on the screen, these are the various certifications that are available for MuleSoft professionals. So as you can see here, the first one is the developer. The second one is the integration architect and the third one is the platform architect. Okay, so we have already seen the career progression of these particular rooms and these certifications will help you progress through your career. Okay, so certifications are a proof that you have theory knowledge as well and hands-on knowledge as well with MuleSoft. Okay, so the first certification over here is developer. So MuleSoft certified developer. So basically there are two levels of certification in this developer room. The first one is the level one and the second one is the level two. Okay, so for this particular certification, you know, like if you want to appear for level one certification, so there will be 60 questions in this particular certification exam. And the duration of this exam will be 120 minutes or two hours. Okay, and if you want to clear this certification, you must clear this exam with 70% of the marks. Okay, and if you talk about the cost of this certification, so the cost is $250, like US dollars, 250 US dollars. Okay, and the validity of this certification is two years. Okay, so this was all about the level one certification. Now there is also a level two certification, like MuleSoft Certified Developer Level Two. Okay, and the prerequisite for this exam is that you must clear the level one certification before appearing for level two certification. So similar to the previous exam, so this exam also consists of 60 questions, like multiple choice questions, and the duration is two hours or 120 minutes, and the passing score is also same, 70% of the marks, and the cost is also same, $250, and the validity is also similar, which is two years. Okay. So this, these were the two certifications in the developer room. Okay, and the next certification is the integration architect. So to prepare for this integration architect, what you can do is you can start with the level one certification of the developer room. Okay, so we just discussed the developer role certification of level one. So you can start with that. After that, what you can do is you can, after clearing that level one certification of the developer, you can appear for this integration architect certification exam. Okay, so if you talk about this particular exam, so the integration architect, so this exam will contain 58 questions and the duration will be 120 minutes or two hours. And similar to the previous certifications, the passing score is 70% over here. Okay, and if you talk about the cost, so the cost is a bit higher than the previous certification, like the cost for the integration architect certification is 375 US dollars and the validity is two years. Okay, so this was all about the integration architect certification. And after that, the third certification is the platform architect certification. The certification for this platform architect is MuleSoft certified platform architect level one certification. In this certification exam, there will be 60 questions of 120 minutes, or you can say two hours, and the passing score will be 70%. Okay, and the cost will be 375 US dollars. 
and the validity of this exam will also be two years. Okay, so this was all about the certification exams. Okay, so normally what happens is like as we have discussed, the validity of the certifications will be two years for every role. So what will happen after two years is you have to appear for maintenance certification. Okay, so what exactly is maintenance certification? So after two years, you know, there will be some changes, you know, some minute technical changes in the MuleSoft platform. Okay, so you, you just need to be aware of those particular changes or the updates in the platform. Okay, and based on that, you will be able to appear for this maintenance certification exam. Okay, so the maintenance certification exam is for the all of the three roles. Okay, so in, by appearing for maintenance certification exam, you're just increasing the validity of the certifications that you already have. Okay, I hope I'm clear with this point. Okay, so now let's move ahead and discuss the last point of this session, how to land a MuleSoft job. Okay, so guys, as you can see, these are the five steps that you must follow to land a MuleSoft job. So the first and foremost point over here is you must grab the skills. Okay, so you must practice or you can say you must work hard in gaining all of the skills that we have discussed in the previous part of this session. Okay, so after gaining the skills, you know, gaining skills is not just theoretical knowledge. You must also have the hands-on knowledge. Okay, so after grabbing the skills, what you can do is you can work on projects. Okay, so there are various projects or you can say various tutorials or the hands-on part where you can, you know, work on different projects related to MuleSoft. Okay, and the third point over here is earning resume worthy credentials. So what do you mean by this point? So it simply means clearing the certification exams. Okay, so clearing certifications is very important. Okay, so for any field, having certification is a proof that you are worthy candidate for appearing for interviews. Okay, so if you have certifications, you can flaunt them on your LinkedIn profile and your resume is. So in this way, they will at least give you opportunities for appearing for interviews. Okay, then the fourth point is connecting to the opportunities or you can say exploring the opportunities. So how do you do that? So what you can do is you can upload your profile or you can see your resume to various employment portals like nokri.com, indeed.com and so on. Okay, so once you do that, you know, companies will connect you and they will give you an opportunity to appear for interviews. Okay, so this is about the fourth step. And the fifth and the final step is cracking the interview. So as we have discussed earlier, gaining the skills and having the right attitude and soft skills as well. So not only technical skills, having soft skills is also very critical for cracking the interview. Okay, and one another important point is having the right attitude. Okay, so it is not going to be the case that you will be able to clear the interview, like the first interview itself. Okay, so even if you're not able to clear the first interview, what you can do is you can learn from that interview. Okay, so if you fail in the first attempt, you can learn from what all the things that went wrong in that particular interview. And then you can work on those things and you can you know appear for another interview or another company. So this way, you will improve and the chances of clearing your interviews in the first attempt itself will be very good. Okay, so I hope you have understood all of these points that I just discussed. Okay, so guys, that's all from my side in this session on how to clear MuleSoft interview in first attempt. I've tried to cover maximum points over here. Okay, so I hope you have understood all of the points. And if at all you have any doubts in this particular video uh, or the any particular point that we have discussed, then you can write your queries and doubts in the comment section below. And my team is here to help you with all your doubts and queries. Okay, so guys, I wish you all the best for your upcoming MuleSoft interview. So thank you so much for being with us and all the very best.